laps to go. Jeff Gordon might be his problem because you think they would race for a few laps in the time it would take Andretti to get by would let, allow Jeff Burton to get away. Andretti's car will stay right down on the bottom of that racetrack better than, than Gordon's. Career uh, best short track finish for John Andretti last week at Bristol. He came home fourth. Right now he's third and headed for Jeff Gordon running second. I tell you what, if this finish could stay this way, those guys at Petty Enterprises once again this week would get double chicken money. <laughs> oh. Last week, last weather yesterday, they won with Jimmy Hensley in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. And he's come up on the 24. He no longer is the fastest car on the racetrack, but his second quick. Well, we'll see what Andretti can do with Gordon here, if anything. Look at this. Watch this. Right on the bottom of the racetrack. He's able to get position on Jeff Gordon. Oh, and what a day for John Andretti, and the fans are loving it.
last Petty Enterprises Winston Cup win was here in April of 79. Two laps to go for John Andretti. And Darrell Walton right in front of it. DW is in 12th spot. Looking for the white flag. This is an unbelievable story. There were about five cars battling for the lead through the first 475 laps, and all of a sudden, John Andretti drives through everybody to come on and take the lead. Here he is down the back stretch with less than half a lap to go to his second Winston Cup victory and the possibility of the eighth different short track winner off of corner number four. John Andretti wins the Martinsville Goodies Body Paint 500. An outstanding performance. It's his second NASCAR Winston Cup win. His only other one was at Daytona in July of 1997. 57 years and 57 races ago. John? A very happy Robbie Lewis the group congratulating each other. Robbie, congratulations. I'm going to tell you what, Andretti was awesome. Petty's knowledge up here at Martinsville. i got to thank God today. He gave us a bunch of great employees at Petty Enterprise. And uh, John just did an awesome, awesome job driving the car. Got behind early. We got that lap down. And uh, John used his head, stayed cool. And uh, that was a good day for us. You guys took those two tires to last stop. I mean, that turned out to be the best thing to do. Yeah, I tell you, we've done it a couple times up here when we had the backstretch pit. I said, why not try it? You know, we're over here. We qualified bad on Friday. All the guys at Petty Enterprise are shot. Rick Mann, the guys in the motor room, what a job. Awesome. Congratulations, Robbie. John Andretti looking for victory lane. It happened on lap 48. John Andretti gets bumped by Ward Burton, spins around in turn number two, and goes down a full lap. However, on lap 135, he was able to get the lap back, and he wins here at Martinsville. What a great story today. Look at the king. Out of boy, John. Seventy-first NASCAR Winston Cup win for Petty Interbike Prices, the most of all time. And it started yesterday when the King's truck driver, Jimmy Hensley, from the Commonwealth of Virginia, showed some real emotion in victory lane, actually stopping here on the start-finish line before getting to victory lane and having an emotional win in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. John. Well, Richard Petty is the Winston Cup driver. Won more races here at Martinsville than anyone else. Now you got another uh, win. You had a win yesterday. What a weekend. Yeah, we had a good weekend. I think Kyle lined up 10, so that was a good weekend for everybody on the Petty, Petty Enterprise operation. Great. And yesterday with Jimmy Hensley winning now, with uh, John winning, uh, how big a victory is this for you? Well, it's a pretty big victory, especially, you know, John didn't qualify too good. Then he spun out, lost the lap, made his lap back up. It was a hard race for him. He drove his fanny off all day long. And, uh, you know, the car stayed with him, and he stayed right with the car. And, you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't know what else to say. It, I told him, I told him it looked like Richard Petty driving that thing. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> well, those are words well spoken. <laughs> so Richard Petty. He heads for victory lane to meet his driver, John Andretti. Twelve cars finished on the lead lap. Jeff Burton finishing second. Then Gordon, Darrell Waltrip also ended on the lead lap. And here are 16 through 30. See there, Earnhardt did uh, finish in the top 20 in 19th position. And the remainder of the field now, we only had one car out of the race at the end, and that was Ricky Craven. John Andretti also gained in the point standings as a result of his victory here this afternoon. Jeff Burke continues to hang on to the lead. Jeff Gordon up to fourth position, and John Andretti gives the boss a lift to victory lane. <laughs> What a weekend it has been for the King. Two wins here at Martinsville. And there's Kyle Petty already out of his car over to congratulate John. Kyle coming home in 10th place here this afternoon. <laughs> he said, how did I do that? How did I do that? It's like Adam leaning in the door over there.
to the McDonald's Winner Circle. Here's Jerry Punch. A big hug from wife Nancy in Victory Lane. John, what an effort. Last week, 26 to 4. This week, 21st, a lap down, back on the lead lap, and in Victory Lane. What an effort. Well, I knew when we tested here, we had a good car, but it was about 80 degrees when we tested here. And um, the whole STP Pontiac team has done a great job. And um, that's a two tire call. I didn't think I had anything left. And um, with about 20 to go, I thought that I had my, my brakes were done, but I didn't care. I'd, I'd rather have won the race or try to win in the race and go out with my brake fa failing because I, I was always in the back, but um, you got to beat up race car, but <laughs> it should work again. Two tires, and you had to catch and pass your good friend Jeff Burton for the victory. <laughs> yeah, he's a good friend, and um, there's no better no better person other than Kyle. Um, maybe to run second. I, and Jeff and I are real close friends, and um, and um, I don't really hate it for him because he's already won two races this year. It's good that he let I, th I think he let his buddy win, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and what an effort. Double chicken money for two weeks in a row. John Andretti in victory lane at Martinsville. Only led four laps the last four. The leader of the most laps was Rusty Wallace, who led 177. Way to go, John. Good run.